Hi, I'm Wendy with H2OBungalow.com. Today, I'm going to share with you how to use removable wallpaper from Wallsoft's to make a large wall art piece for your home in just a few hours. Okay, so the supplies you'll need are a Wallsoft's removable wallpaper mural, a level, a pencil, a ladder. I made a frame by using one by two inch wood, spray paint, and a brad nailer. You can read my instructions and find links to my supply list on my website at h2obungalow.com. Search removable wallpaper. There's also a link to my post in this video description as well. To position your wall mural, you'll measure the height of any items you need to work around, like a bed headboard or a lamp. Be sure you're starting with a smooth wall free from heavy texture. Use a level and mark along the top section of where the mural will start from. Unroll the wall sauce mural and select the first roll. Your mural will come packaged with a schematic of how many panels you have and where each one fits. The mural is made of heavy vinyl in a matte finish, and each roll is numbered starting with the number one for the first panel, which will start on the far left of your art piece. Get ready to install the first panel by carefully peeling back the backing from the vinyl wallpaper and folding it back about five to seven inches down. Starting at the far end of your wall mural, you'll line the top of the wallpaper with the line you made on the wall. You'll press the top down firmly. Pull the backing down and press the wallpaper with your hands onto the wall, pushing out any air bubbles. Apply the second mural panel lining up the top and side seam. It's easy to reposition if needed, and you'll see the wall sauce mural is thick and it won't damage the mural when you need to reposition it. It works well to position the side seam first as you work your way down the panel and then press it to the wall, working the bubbles out away from the seam. Continue these steps until all the panels are up on the wall. I added a few coats of gold spray paint to the frame I made. I made this frame with PVC. Select pine would have been much better since the PVC does bend on a large scale. You can cut a 45 degree angle at each end or just butt the ends up together for your frame. Attach the frame to the wall with a brad nailer. Use your level to line up and check that your frame is straight and all the angles are square. Again, you can read my instructions and get my supply list from my blog post at h2obungalow.com, search wall art. There's also a link to the description in this video as well. If you liked my project, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my blog when you're there too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on the next creative DIY project from H2O Bungalow.